It is critically important that practitioners know how to do equianalgesic opioid dosing and to be able to do opioid conversion calculations. What this means is if someone is started on morphine, for example, and they develop itching, what are you going to do? Well, some people might treat that with an antihistamine, but I think a better strategy, since that's probably due to histamine release, instead of treating drug-induced illness with another drug, would be to switch to a new opioid because perhaps they won't have that a clinical effect on oxycodone or fentanyl or one of the other opioids. Let's say you have some other adverse effect. Let's say we've increased the dose of your opioid and you're still not getting the relief that you think you would, 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 we would like to see you have. A good uh, therapeutic strategy is to rotate to a new opioid. It is critically important that practitioners understand 30 milligrams of oral morphine is about 20 milligrams of oral oxycodone is about, you know, 7 milligrams of oral hydromorphone. How do we do those calculations? How do we switch people safely and effectively so they don't have toxicity, but yet they don't have a recurrence of their pain? So uh, I think it's important that we all know the five-step process that's been advocated and, and follow that consistently. And then the most important step is number five, monitoring your patient like nobody's business. Very, very important skill to have.